we've been using machines now so far to kind of get it to, to this particular level. At this point then, we probably just switch over to hand sanding. We've got those black sanding pads, which are good, especially for those flat surfaces. And we, uh, you can also just put the sandpaper in your hand and, uh, and sand. Always sanding with the grain, okay? So when you're using the sandpaper, put some sandpaper there. Right? We're always wanting to sand with the grain. If you go across the grain, you're just scratching the wood and you're going to have to sand more to get those scratches out. Okay? So you're defeating the purpose there. So we're always sanding here with the grain, either with a sanding pad um, or by hand here. And again, we start working with the rougher sandpaper and gradually, um, you probably want to get this thing down before you put finish on tonight to, oh, I'd say about the 320, right? At least 220, probably 320 level um, for the sandpaper. Um, and that means all of the surfaces of the, of, the, of the guitar, all of the outside surfaces. You don't need to sand the insides of the pockets, the inside of the electronics or anything like that. And definitely do not sand anywhere inside the neck pocket. No go because we've already fit our neck beautifully into that and we don't want to mess that that, uh, that um, connection at all, okay? So, uh, so by the end of the day, when we're ready to put finish on, we've, uh, we've sanded, we've sculpted the body, we've sanded it down. Um, in particular, pay attention to these areas here, which we call the end grain. It's the end, we've got the grain of the wood running this direction. So this is the end grain, it's the hardest to sand. Um, and, uh, look in particular for burn marks from the tooling the tools that were used to cut this initially some of you had on your on your headstocks um, you showed me and said yeah what do you think and i said well there's all these burn marks on the side it's perfectly smooth but those burn marks are going to show through with the finish so we want to get all of those um, machine burn marks off of there um, and uh, get all of these fuzzies not all these little fuzzies that are left over that the, the tool that cut this out just kind of left those little fuzzies there. Um, what I recommend is when, you, um, when you've got this thing sanded down all the way to the, to the bitter end and you're ready to put the finish on, then what I like to do is just get a little damp out and wipe down the whole finish. Not wet, just damp paper towel, wipe down the whole finish. What that does is it, it um, takes all the little wood fibers and makes them stand up. They swell, right? The wood fibers swell up and they stand up. And so then one more pass with your sandpaper will knock down all those little fibers. Um, and uh, then when you put on your finish, there's less of those that are gonna wanna try to swell and stand up. So that's uh, kind of your, your, your last little step there is just a little bit of, uh, of dampness on there and sand that off and then you're good to uh, go. But don't, you know, don't hold it under the sink, right? Because then you've got a, the body will be too wet to apply finish to. So just a little damp towel and, uh, and clean that up, okay?